Hi, this is Randy, your sewing machine man. We're looking at the clutch assembly on a little Kenmore 8 stitch. And they're a lot like this. Uh, had some comments, so folks are not clear how this works here. And I don't know if they're being snarky, because uh, we get a lot of snark here on the channel. And uh, people are telling me they don't know what I'm talking about. So I guess there's just no pleasing everybody. But just for the sake of clarity, because. I don't know if it's a culture thing, a language thing, but uh, I guess it was Jane, Jude Jane. Um, sorry if I mispronounced your name there, Jude, J-U-D-E, maybe Judy, Judy Jane. Cool name either way. You say, I don't know what Dr. Pepper has to do with it. Well, back when I was starting out, one of my uh, mentors told me to look at this like it was, you know, Dr. Pepper, you know, 10, 2, but it, instead of 4, it's 6, 10 to 6. So that's the Dr. Pepper reference. You say, I don't know what Dr. Pepper has to do with it. It really doesn't. It's just a, a, a memory thing for when I was learning 10 to 6. They all have a set of ears on them, 1, 2, 3. So they said, Dr. Pepper, no big deal. And you went on to say that it only goes together two ways, not four ways. Wow. Well, that is that is a serious thing. It goes together four ways, actually, see. This would be, these ears stick out, these two ears, these two ears protrude out, or they protrude in. So you can put it in there incorrectly with them pointing in, that would be incorrect. That's one, correct is two, and then correct in this configuration is one, and then 180 is Another. So there's four ways it goes together. One, two, three, four. So that's four ways it goes together. Only one works, and that's with the two ears pointing out. And then when you put your knob back on, you can see that you, yeah, be careful, it'll fall out. Uh, put your knob back on, and the knob, sometimes your clutch release knob, will have a washer there. That's where your washer goes. If it falls off, it goes there, up against the plastic on the lock there. And you got your little hole here. You can just back this off. You don't have to take it out. You're under risk of losing it if you take the screw out. You take it out just far enough so it'll swing past your ears. Now, when you put it on, you want this to end up in one of these spots one, two, three there. Of course, when you tighten it down, you may get lucky the first time. It'll come down, of course, keep keeping in your mind. And we got lucky. So our tabs are 10 to 6, 10 to 4, the Dr. Pepper thing, you know. So you tighten this down, and you're between the tabs. The tabs are here and here, and you want to be between them. So you're stopping at a tab. And then when you go to wind it out, and you're like this. Now, uh, Jude Jane goes on to say, well, my needle bar was going up and down. Well, sometimes it'll do that, because if the machine sat for a long time, There'll be a glaze on your little post here coming out where the wheel rotates on the hub, which would be the axle, which would be the shaft there. So sometimes there'll be a little glaze on there, and you'll have to let that oil work in sometimes, and it'll stop. If your belts are too tight, it'll run. Uh, the needle will go up and down a little bit. But, you know, this was just a real quick, informative video on how to put it back together. You didn't get into all the intricacies of getting out your, you know, your crocus cloth and getting out your steel wool and finishing off the axle. I mean, it's like building a motor. You, know, you can build a motor to drive somebody to work, or you can build a motor uh, to make low elapsed times at the quarter mile. It's a, it, it, it's a different process. It gets more involved. But uh, the folks that are throwing rocks at me on my channel, I'm just trying to help. So, uh, four hours ago, Miss Judy Jane said, your video is a no-go. Well, I'm sorry, Judy Jane, but my video is a go. And I'll be glad to help folks get their machines put back together. And I'm just trying to do the right thing here. So, ease up.